In marketing parallels, brand positioning is like walking on thin ice. A little swirl and you can break it and fall. The reason why Honda does not sell its scooters in American market, for example, is because the name is so closely associated with cars in the minds of American consumers that selling scooters can play havoc with their car sales. An irreparable tinkering with brand positioning of Shiv Sena has been tried with Uddhav Thakre to disastrous consequences. For a Kara-based party like Shiv Sena, which is organization first and a political force later, Uddhav Thakre's decision to align with Congress and the NCP was like taking a U-turn while driving at cruise speed, overturning being the only consequence. The Kara's that would dig up pitches to stop cricket matches with Pakistan were now told to remain silent when Malad MLA Aslam Sheikh sought to name a municipal garden after Tipu Sultan. This was in September 2021. And Shiv Sena led Brihan Mumbai Municipal Corporation played along till the BJP protested and the garden got named on Rani Lakshmi Bai. Or take the Hanuman Chalisa Rao for example. Had Bala Sahib Thakre been around, he would have invited Navneet Rana over to Matoshri. Or better, held a public rendition of the Ode to Lord Hanuman at the Shivaji Park with Rana as guest. The most abject giving up of the original Shiv Sena DNA happened during the Palghar incident with the Uddhav government's lame response. It is likely that under Bala Sahib, apart from police action, the Sanics would have come out on the streets in show of support to the kill Saffron Sadhus. Imagine if AIMIM Aurangabad MP Imtiaz Jalil had sought hanging of Nupur Sharma when the Shiv Sena still had its original DNA. Wouldn't Mumbai have stopped? Would the Senex not have picketed Jalil's residence? An emphatic yes. But nothing of that sort happened. It is natural the Senex was confused. And the lifeblood of Shiv Sena, its street power, was lost under Uttav. The tectonic shift in Maharashtra politics that led to change of government on Thursday then can be seen in a good measure as a product of an average Shiv Senex confusion coming out through the second rung of the leadership within the party, the MLAs led by Ekadath Shinde. During one of the television debates, an Uddhav camper denied that any power was lost. He was right, perhaps. During last two and a half years of the Maharashtra Vikas Agadi government, Shiv Sena never had the real power. What with the key portfolios like home and finance with the NCP, all roads led to Baramati. I'm paraphrasing, all roads lead to Rome. What is actually lost by attrition is the aura and influence of the Thakre clan. Look at it this way. When Chagan Bujbal rebelled against Bala Sahib's leadership in 1991, he left the Sena with nine MLAs in tow. In 2007, when Raj Thakre, one from the family, quit, not even his close confidant Sada Sarvanka deemed it fit to annoy the patriarch and stayed put. Ditto for Nara and Rane, who left without any impact the same year. Contrast this with Shinde's rebellion that found resonance with 39 legislators who stuck around together for over a fortnight of attempts to get them back. And remember, unlike earlier times, they were in power. The lure was not of joining government, but to regain their ideological mooring. Not surprising then that both the times, while Uddhav was leaving Varsha, the official residence of Chief Minister, and later at Matushri during the week of crisis, Shiv Sanik's present in support of the Thakres could be counted on fingertips. Not that there was no warning. More than once, Eknath Shinde has said how he tried to convince Uddhav to not align with outwardly secular Congress and the NCP or to leave the alliance altogether. Leaders like Shinde come with a strong ear to the ground. They have an umbilical link with the Carters. They are the organization. Now imagine a situation where despite being in power, they have to take a pass to even meet the leader from a coterie which constituted entirely of the unelectables. Let's understand. Of those who held keys to Thakare's, the man for mediation, for example, Milin Narvekar, neither an MLA nor an MLC. Both Anil Parab and Santosh Desai are members of the Legislative Council. Sanjay Raut and Anil Desai, again, both members of the Rajya Sabha. Clearly, this would have riled a grassroots leader like Shinde, having been groomed directly under Bala Sahib. The vocism of Uddhav's son Aditya Thakre, right from an extra A in his name to the dalliance with Bollywood, had gone beyond Mumbai grapevine. 
having election holdings in Urdu in his constituency of Worli, earned him some brownie points with the Lottians ecosystem and the Khan market gang in Delhi, but only added to the confusion of the Sadiq. A lot of psychoanalysis has been done of Uddhav's aloofness, of his suave dealings with leaders, of his delegation that made him a modern leader. All good, but in the context of brand positioning, a disaster and even foolhardy. How do you justify aloofness when in the midst of an existential crisis, a day after attending the national executive, Uday Samant, a member of the Uddhav cabinet, is scoots to the rebel camp in Guwahati. Shinde and many ministers who were with Sena for decades and had built the party in their districts and regions. Rebuilding might not be an easy task for whatever is left of the party under Uddhav's command. Reports of Milind Narvekar in talks with now Chief Minister Ekanath Shinde give a sense of the titanic proportions of Sena's sinking under Thakre. The Narvekar move should be particularly worrying as he was the go-to man for all corporators in Mumbai if they had to communicate with the top leadership. If he goes and with him a bunch of corporators, it might deal a body blow to Sena's finances as well. BMC being the milch cow that sustained the party all these years. The first Thakre chief minister of the original Shiv Sena would have renamed Aurangabad on the first day in power perhaps. Uddhav turned it into his swan song. The Hindu genes showing some atavism. But only after a permanent damage has been done. A wistful Uddhav called a press conference on Friday to announce that Shinde was not a Sainik anymore. That Sena was still with him. Maybe that was for putting up things on record, keeping in mind a long legal battle ahead. It is nobody's case that an ideology should not evolve. Change is after all permanent. It is also not the case that regression of digging pitches is an ideal. Only that in the context of present day Indian politics, Uddhav, chiefly out of spite, sought to conduct an experiment in which he has turned out to be the sole loser.